Hi everybody, this is Believe What, also known as Yam Juice, and this is part 5 in my Human Nature series. Uh, the gameplay that you're seeing right now is the very first time I ever played the, uh, the new map Terminal. Uh, this is the, uh, the Clan Ops, and uh, I ended up going 22 and 13, but uh, again, this commentary is not about the gameplay. Uh, what I'd like to talk about is, is the idea of thoughts. You know, we have the ability to think, to, uh, to reason, to respond any way we, we would like to any given situation. Uh, but we also have uh, we also have a certain amount of laziness that we just automatically fall into patterns of thought that we're used to. I mean, if you're, you know, if you're sibling or your spouse uh, hollers at you, the natural response uh, that you're going to go into is uh, you're not even going to think about it, you're going to holler back at them. Uh, you know, that's that's what I'm talking about. You know, you, you you have the ability to stop and think and respond and and do anything you want or say anything you want. You have the ability to control your thoughts, but, but you also have the ability to have your thoughts control you. So, how this fits into the idea of human nature is uh, as humans we have desires we have things that we want you know animals only have instincts you know they, they, they eat drink you know protect territory uh, and, and that sort of thing we, ha we have all those same things as well because uh, down deep we're also animals but we have the ability uh, to control uh, what it is that we want you know, we decide what we want. Uh, we have a certain amount of self-awareness. Some people have more self-awareness than others. Uh, but, you know, if you're a, even, you know, human, you have some some self-awareness. Even if you're, you know, really pretty clueless, you have at least uh, a shred of it. <laughs> so what I'm talking about is the, um, the thoughts that uh, drive our motivations. Uh, we will do what we think we need to do to gain the things that we want. You know, whether the things that we want are, are stuff, whether it's uh, you know, love, acceptance, friendship, uh, or whether it's to avoid getting in trouble, or whether it's to avoid, you know, getting hurt. You know, you might avoid stepping on a rake. You might avoid... Uh, getting into a fist fight. Uh, you might avoid touching a hot pan, but you also might uh, do something that you think will get you something that you want. You know, you might ask your boss for a raise uh, because you want more money. Uh, or maybe you might ask your boss for a raise because uh, your wife is getting on your case that you don't have enough money and uh, and you'd like to, uh, you know, to stop the uh, discomfort of that. I'm not doing too bad on this map, considering this is the first time I've seen it. Anyway, back to the back to the commentary. Uh, you know, we have the desire for um, for social things like uh, you know acceptance. Like you want to feel like you're uh, you're important, uh, or at least you know, not unimportant. Uh, so you'll do things that will that will get you uh, that you think will get you there. Now, not everybody is as good at judging what will get them what they want. You know, that's part of the that's part of the process of uh, of, of maturing. I mean, some people never really get the hang of it, but some people know exactly what it is they want, and they go about it in a, in a really direct kind of way. Um, other people. They have only just a, a vague notion of what it is they want. They want things. We all want things. And they do too. But they just haven't really pinpointed what it is that they want. Or maybe they're fooling themselves about what it is that they want. Uh, we always do what we think is going to fulfill these desires. Uh, but what gets us into trouble is the fact that... Uh, you know, we, we have patterns of behavior that are, you know, that are kind of automatic, they're knee-jerk. Uh, you know, if somebody picks a fight with you, you know, you might, 
you know, you might uh, be coached into a fight, or if somebody picks an argument, you're going to be kicked into an argument. Uh, if somebody pushes a hot button of yours, you know, you will just have a knee-jerk reaction and respond without thinking too much about it. But you do have the ability to control how you react to anything. You can always step back and decide how you're gonna how you're gonna approach something like this. Uh, you know, we want uh, we want material things. We want uh, immaterial things. I mean, if you want uh, if you want money, uh, you might decide that you're gonna you know go for an education. Uh, so you can become a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer or an air conditioning repairman, whatever it is. Uh, so you're going to be focused on, on your education because you think that's what it's going to take to uh, get you what you want. Uh, you, might, you, know, you might want freedom. You might think that freedom is the greatest thing that, uh, that you could have. Uh, you might want to be... You know, somebody who doesn't work that hard, but has more freedom, more time, um, you, know, you can do what you want when you want. You know, if you're if you're a doctor or a lawyer, you're pretty much uh, committed to a certain amount of effort and uh, you know, energy that you have to put into your to your life, and your life is structured in a certain amount of ways that uh, you don't really have that much freedom. I mean, you can't just uh, pack up and, and run off and go someplace that you'd like to anytime you want. Uh, but, you know, if you're just kind of bumming around, you know, you have all the freedom that you might want, but then you have, you know, you might not have very much money. And it doesn't matter whether you're rich or whether you're poor, you still are going to want things. Uh, things that you, that you don't have, that you think you want or you would like. Uh, you're still going to respond to the things that you want. Uh, you're going to do whatever it is you think that you have to to get these things. Okay, this game is just about over. There it goes. Uh, this was the very first time I ever played the map terminal. I was just kind of running around. I didn't know what I was up to. Uh, and Hatchet gets the final kill, which is not too surprising. And like I said, I did end up going 22 and 13 on this map. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, the idea here is that our thoughts are one of the, uh, the key components uh, that control human nature. So so far, I've talked about I've talked about ego and uh, and how that responds to uh, uh, human nature and engagement. You know, you've got to be doing something, thinking about something. Uh, and now I'm talking about your your thinking, your your way that you go about getting what it is that you want. It will make your ego satisfied, and it will keep you engaged. So anyway, this is just uh, this is just the way I think about this stuff. Uh, you might have a different opinion, but uh, I just thought I would share what I have. Now, in case you missed my previous videos, on the left is the uh, the uh, video about ego which is the very first uh, installment and on the right is the most recent video if you want to see either one of those just go ahead and click and so you won't have to miss an episode just go ahead and click that subscribe button thanks for watching